I wear my I'm cap. Going to I wear my for cap. A month, so. This fucking Me too. guy. When? It, like in five days. Me too. Where are you going? I'm going. I'm going on Friday. I'm flying into Germany. I'm going like everywhere. I'm going to like yeah. I'm going to like a ton of places. Where We're going to Italy. Oh, I'm, I'll be there. All right, let's we'll, we'll link up for sure. Where are you going to be? Look at this. Everywhere. Look at this rich <laughs> talk. <Yeah. laughs> Look at this rich <laughs> talk. Are you? Gonna you know be what in- my black ass going to be? <laughs> are you going to be in Tuscany? Yeah, right. Anytime soon. Yeah. This is amazing. I love the success. This will be. <laughs> Please don't don't mind me. Continue. I love. Well, Sam's got um. She has family in Milan, so that was the excuse. Was like, let's go out and see George. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. But then it turned into like a huge trip, like whole Italian Riviera. I'll be in Venice. Like, so are you gonna be in Venice at all? No, no. I don't think we're gonna do Venice. Yeah. You really speak it's We're gonna say. <laughs> we're not gonna act like this shit is normal. No, I want to actually hit Venice. Hey man, the food. The food. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, we gotta what? go. In. That's the what? intro to the episode what? right there. Buys breakfast. Buys breakfast. Day one, day one. So today, obviously, this isn't Michael Rainey Jr. Okay, unfortunately not. I don't got my ghost brother in here. <laughs> but I got... An amazing guest host for you, Chris Lofton. Absolutely love him so much. You know him from Forrest. You know, you know, you know him from everything ever. What's up? Bro? You know him from every party in LA that's ever existed. <laughs> um, no, man. And and Chris, I want you to introduce our little guest because this is your boy, dude. Oh, this is your little all, Forrest boy. Okay, we're gonna start you there. We're gonna leave the littles out of it. We it was like three littles, I counted. <laughs> all right. We're gonna announce Big Shane, what I like to call him. <laughs> Big Shane, not the little one. Uh this man right here, ladies and gentlemen. He's over here looking like a 96 Leo. Yeah, dude. Let's He's go. looking like Basketball Diaries Leonardo DiCaprio, like a teen heartthrob sensation. He looks like he sings melodic melodies and <laughs> plays guitar and serenades beautiful women. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, like, this is right going on my actor's access. I, I call him my friend, and not only my friend, but my brother. And we don't get that this much in this industry because mm-hmm. these actors are fucking weird. Dude, I feel Ladies that. and gentlemen, Shane motherfucking Hart. Oh, my yeah. God. Thank you very much. That was that that intro. Dude, I, I feel like I gotta writing. walk out. Dog, now. dog, fucking cut it out. You, this is like my first real cut podcast. It out. Really? Oh yeah. What? Yeah. Dog, come on. Yeah. Man. I mean, this I've is... done like a couple of it. This is a real podcast. Yeah, we're you breaking. You guys got po- some real listeners. Yeah. yeah. This is like Jack asking Rose for a little bit more room <laughs> on that goddamn door, right? <laughs> This is when that happened. Like, come on, bro. You look great. Bro. We're taking this podcast it. Virginia right now, dude. That's what's yeah, up. I feel like, I, I feel it. It's happening. I love that. I love that. All right, all right. So I obviously, like, we'll get into the force of everything and yeah, all that yeah. stuff because, you know, that's what, you know, the fans really want to hear. But, like, I want to get into, like, the beginning of you and your, you know, the beginning of your acting career and your journey and when you moved to L.A., like, all that stuff. All that stuff, sure. So how, how old were you when you moved here? Um, I was about 16, 17. Oh, damn. Yeah. And you moved here for acting, for yeah. sure. Well, it was kind of like, a, yeah, it was a bunch of stuff. So I, I was born in San Diego. Oh, word. Um, and then I moved to Orange County like when I was five, five, six. And then I got involved in entertainment around like 13 years old. Nice. And it was kind of a mix of like wanting to move up to like just be closer to LA because right. that drive was kind of getting crazy. Yeah. Um, and my sister and I were both actually professional dancers. That's how my career started. Oh, no way. And oh, so, yeah, so I was like, like 16, 17, I was like booking a lot of gigs. And like, my sister was also dancing professionally. So we were like talking to our parents, hey, we might move up to LA. And my parents were like, yeah, I'm moving to LA at 16. Like, you know, that shit's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then my dad like lost his job. So like, it was just kind of this thing where he was like, well, let's all just move up. So my dad and like, we, you know, like just moved his whole, whole family up at, at 16 and, and he eventually found a job and I've been here ever since. So LA feels like home for me because yeah, this sure. is where I learned to drive. This is where I learned to, you know, went to my first bar. Like this is where I grew right. up, you know. Did you go to high school or no? I was homeschooled. No, no, no. Yeah, he was already yeah, yeah, yeah. a superstar. If yeah. you didn't know, well, I was yeah. out of school at six. But I also tested out of school like at sixteen, so I was like done with school at that point. Damn, Shit, dude. Yeah. But I didn't even do like the. <laughs> I didn't even do like the real GED. You know the you know the GED that you can take to test out of. Right. Yeah. I did like the Chesapeake, like the California high school proficiency exam. So it's like I only have my diploma just in California. Like oh, anywhere cool. else, like I'm not a high school graduate. Just so like you I'm can like, work. So you can work. <laughs> Like, it was the bare minimum. I was like, oh, I'm getting That's out of here because I, I hate it. I really hated school. Yeah, but I feel like if you get if you get English and like all that stuff. I mean, obviously, not to say the listeners don't go to school, but like if you know what you want to do, yeah. 
Uh, what's yeah. the fucking point, dude? I didn't go to college. I'm like, dude, I know yeah, what I want to do. Like, yeah. fuck it. No, and man. at that point, were you already like doing shit at 16? Where was this like pre or post like high school musical for you? Yeah, I danced in High School Musical when I was 13. So Did you? Po- in the oh, first yeah. one? In the second one. Dog, he, this is the fire. Like, dog, that was one of my, yeah, that's a great, that's a crazy story too. Let's how into I got on that. Okay, <laughs> listen, I will say my two, my two like, um, uh, what, what do they call those? Um, when you like something and you're like, you hate that you love it. Oh, guilty, guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. I got a few of those. Twilight. Yeah. I love the Twilight okay. series. And I'm a High School Musical guy. But I was also like 12 or 13 when High School Musical came out. Loved it. Wait, how old are you? I watched it the other night. Um, I if you don't am mind me asking on 27. Air. 27. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, said yeah. that like you lied. Why'd you say that like a politician? What? Why'd you look up and think? I honestly wasn't sure. I was like, he's like, I am. Why'd uh, you look up and think dude, about it? Dude, I'm that? 27. No. All right, here's the thing. Okay, that one was good. That was a retake. That yeah. was take two. <laughs> he's like, dude, I'm 27. Okay, I believe him. I'm 27. All right. You didn't believe yeah. him at all. I didn't believe him the first time. <laughs> he was like, I, huh? I what? had to think I'm, about uh, it for a second. Dude, 27. Shit's moving so fast. I'm like, dude, I'm almost dead, dude. Like, also, COVID, we lost like two years. Literally, Doesn't two count. years. Like I, I feel I, nineteen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, he's for real. That's he's for, a spring chicken. I want to hear this story for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, no, it, it. So it was. It was funny. Like my, I, my mom was like helping me out with like the actors access and getting auditions and stuff for like just dance jobs. And I had like a little dance agent at the time, and um, I ended up driving out to Utah for open call casting for High School Musical for, for, to be a dancer. Wow. So I show up in, in St. George and I go up to the, to the, you know, get like my number and it's like, you know, number like 4,378, whatever. And I ask the guy, I go, no, I'm, I'm 13. I'm like, I'm like, are these, this is randomized numbers, right? And he's like, nah, like you're, that's the number, you know? And I was like, how many spots are there? And he's like 12, there's 12 spots. There's six spots for the guys, six spots for the girls. And I was like, I'm, Okay, well, you know, this is cr- like crazy. Yeah. Also, I showed up to the wrong audition. It was like the open extras casting for dancers. It wasn't even the right one. Damn. But like it was the, re- the, the real one was in, in Salt Lake and I didn't, um, like we just didn't know. So I, I was at the wrong one, but Kenny Ortega, the director, happened to be there. He saw me, like stopped the audition room, pulled me out of the crowd. He offered me the job right there, like sat me down. After sat you everyone, danced, or he just was like, that's a hot kid. But, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you! Even he saw Leo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, he saw me dance first. He saw me dance first. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah. but, um, you didn't say that. So no, 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 like, it's okay. It's he okay. saw me walk in, I, I parted my hair, and he was like, him. Yeah, in, in, the, in the white tank top with the <laughs> short shorts. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, no, yeah, and he offered me the, like, the gig right there. Like, I like, saw my parents. It was crazy. Like, it, was, it felt like one of those things that like, I just couldn't believe it was happening. Because like, at that time, you know, I'm 13. These these are the most famous, like Zac Efron, Vanessa in Hudgens. The world. I was, That's crazy. I was, tr- I was tripping, yeah. and then we were hanging out and like going to party. It was like my first parties was like with them, like it was wild. How's Zac Efron, dude? Going. How's how's Zac and Vanessa? Well, at the time they were they were they were they were just like so like on top of each other and you know in love and they would they were they were kind of crazy and fun but they were nice i mean yeah. he was really nice i haven't seen either of them in a really long time you see his, you see his abs or anything or just no abs <laughs> oh, okay, i didn't right. see no, I abs, was 13 i was, 13. Dude, I yeah, I was ask, a baby i was a baby he wasn't 13 Zach was like what he, he was, was probably 17 17 maybe yeah. yeah i was asking for the fans for the girl fans that we have i was just asking yeah they want to know if you saw his abs yeah. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, uh, <laughs> no, but, no, but so you do that, and you had a, you know, it was awesome. So that yeah, was like my first big. Did you like, have dance lines, gig. or you were strictly dancing? No, I was just a dancer. I was a principal dancer. I had no lines. I tried to sneak a couple in, yeah. you know. <laughs> they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, just dancing, nice. and, and then from there, everything kind of like progressed. So, and you hadn't acted at that point, or you had? I uh, done like community theater. Nice. Um, but I didn't think that I was gonna have like a career in acting at all. I wanted to like go. I wanted to choreograph. I wanted to be like Marty Kadelka. Like I had like people I looked up to right. in the dance community. I wanted to be like. Um, and it was more. I was more thinking. Oh, I'm gonna choreograph for Justin Timberlake or something like that. You know, like I was thinking that. Right. So I wasn't thinking about acting at all. Have yet. you met Woody? <clears throat> no. Woody McLean, who, no. who's on oh, Ghost. Yeah, I have He was I a haven't. dancer too. Yeah, Woody danced uh, with Chris. He played Kane on our show. Um, he danced with Chris Brown for like, I think on tour with him for like six years. Did he really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. My, uh, an old friend of mine, Hefa Tawida, danced for Chris Brown you too. You guys I, probably I have their, so I many their, mutual I friends. I bet they're boys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I, was, I was just curious. I auditioned, I auditioned to dance for Chris Brown once. So really? now? Yeah, it was, yeah, it's crazy. Those auditions were hard, bro. Yeah? They were hard. I showed up too. Like, I would show up and I would just be like this lanky white boy. Like, yeah. Like, you know, 14, like, just like, like, 
I just and and the the pressure at dance auditions it's so fucking competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Like people think, oh, you're a dance, you know, like then I got made fun of for dancing like growing up and stuff. For sure. Um, it, it, but I'm telling you, like when you show up to those types of auditions with that many grown grown men, it's so competitive, man. And they're just trying to like just like cut your throat. Yeah. <laughs> it's wild. That's crazy. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. That's crazy. So you like went get the from me. No, no so. Basically, from the high school musical thing, how did you jump from that to like Get Luck Charlie? Good Luck Charlie. Good Luck Charlie. Yeah. yeah. Did, was that like so? You went from like an extra background dancing to a lead. Yeah. I did. I, well, yeah. So it was. It was basically there was a show that I did for Nickelodeon called mm-hmm. Dance on Sunset, and no one will know this show because it went. I mean, maybe they will, but it was like one season and then it got canceled. Um, but it was like you remember like uh, Soul Train, like American Bandstand, like where yeah. they, it was like a, a variety show almost. Yeah. Uh-huh. I I got that job, but I was dancing on it. But I was also kind of a TV personality, so it was like yeah. a small cast. We had guests, and we had amazing guests on. Man, we had like Sean Kingston, Janet Jackson, and we were I was dancing with that. It was so cool. Like we Damn. had amazing. Yeah, and the show like should have been a hit, but no one watched it. I don't know why. But there were some you know people that were part of that show that that told me like, hey, you should. You should get an acting agent because um, I think that you could, you know, like if you've done any acting. And I was like, yeah, I'd like done theater and stuff. They're like, you should get an acting agent. And then I went and had some generals with Disney, and then they put me on that show. Like, I mean, it was not as easy as that. So, like, I did a bunch, right, of, right, a bunch right. of auditions. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we shorten it, but like people no, don't I'm not know trying how to give hard everyone. It really I know, is. like, I feel like I don't, yeah. I'm not no, trying to give everyone. Not, that. But it was, but it was crazy because. It really was like that. Like someone just, you know, the, the producer was wanted to, you know, manage me, and we ended up parting ways. But I went and had a general with Disney, and then they were, and then Judy Taylor, who's the um, head of casting at the time, she was like, I'm, you know, I gotta find something for you. It was, it was, it was wild. And then I got that show, and I was supposed to just do one or two episodes, and they kept me on for a while. Wait, how so long yeah. were you on it? Go my fault. No, 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 go on, go on. No, it was good. It was like uh, the whole time. I mean, but not. I was just a recurring. You know, like I didn't get paid. I, I, I didn't make any money. Yeah, that's I what I was curious about. No, no. Like, like how, how did, like, when did that audition come in? What was that audition like? And then how did the recur? Because I came from a guest star, or I came from a co-star to a recurring on power. And exactly. Then and you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You turned that into something huge. Yeah, yeah. I love that move. When you, <laughs> when you go from the recurring and then you flip it into like it the lead of the show. First. So it, was, it was a co-star first. It was a co-star. co-star, 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 co-star to series, right? Co-star. Coda to Coda recur. Coda recur. Recurring to series regular. Yeah, so co-star my, is, my guy, is like my a, guy knows my guy knows what he's doing. Yeah. Motherfucking right, you know? uh, co-star <laughs> like is like a small um like uh, a small part in one episode. A guest star is like a larger part of one episode, and then a recur is multiple episodes in a season, but you're not like in every episode. And then uh, a series regular is like every epi- almost every episode, like eight to ten or ten out of ten. Mm-hmm. So I just explain for the people back home. Yeah, but, but that's an amazing accomplishment to flip it. <clears throat> Like that, that just speaks to your talent and your charisma Thank and people you, wanting yeah. you. I mean, that's and amazing. People liking you. you. you know I've got, I have a friend that does it too. He, whenever he gets like cast as a recurring, he's a series regular in like two seasons. You yeah. know, I'm like, I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? I'm like, I'm like, man, it's like blood, sweat, and tears yeah. for me to get a series regular. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just always, he always like, parlays it. Like, he yeah. always parlays it. But, anyways. That's good, man. Yeah. That's good. So as you know, we live in an increasingly automated world, but there are some things that do require tedious manual work. I mean, AI is taking over right now, but luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to ShipStation. They got you covered. It's so easy to use the ShipStation dashboard to manage your orders. There's a free trial and it's a quick setup. So now's the time to try ShipStation out if you've been on the fence. ShipStation makes it easy to automate shipping tax for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. It has effortless integration anywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. You can manage every order from one simple dashboard. You can print shipping labels. You can easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every single shipment. And you can automate delivery notifications. I mean, can it be easier? Now look, with industry-leading discounts, you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping. You could get up to 84% off. I mean, that's damn near free to me. That's basically free. <laughs> and that's all on USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, you know, the boys got you covered. You can use our promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. I mean, come on. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. And 98% of the customers that stick with ShipStation for a year, they end up becoming customers for life. Damn, that's like the opposite of me, dude. My return rate is not great. <laughs> <laughs> look. 
Spend some more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Make sure you go to ShipStation.com, use the code THECREW today, and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com and use the code THECREW. Listen, if you have a business, if you have any merch or anything, ShipStation is the company for you. Back to the episode. So, so how did you turn? How did like how did that all happen? And what was the audition like with Disney? And yeah, I just I mean I was going out for a couple of shows. Like I was going out for that. I was going out for um, which is a Waverly Place. Oh, I actually cool. like oh, yeah, yeah. I, I went out for that. David I, Henry I got pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got pretty far in that process too. Um, and I the night that we were testing for the Good Luck Charlie part, uh, um, the other guy that I was going up against, he was it was just the two of us. And he was like really upset because he had to go to Vegas for like his like some friend's birthday party. He was like, I got to fucking Vegas, man. I got to Vegas. He was so upset. And eventually they just like let it. They were like, all right, yeah, just go. Like, just go if you need to go. And so he bailed. I stayed. And then they called me that night and I got the part. So like he, you know, like, I don't it was know what the happened. the other guy you were against? Yeah. I don't know what his, he was like tripping about something. And then he, I don't know if it threw him off or whatever. I don't know if I was going to get it, you know, regardless. But yeah. it was, it was a great, it was a great screen test. They gave me the part, and then it kind of just developed from there. Like that happens a lot too with those Disney shows. Like if you're cast like the love interest, like if you're on the if you're on the opening episode, right? You know, if if the fans like you and if the cast likes you, sometimes you'll just like stick around. But they never yeah. like up me to any like I got paid, I got paid the same like rate for like four years. Like it was crazy. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of how it was for me with Ballers. But really? like I was never I was never a series regular on Ballers. Everybody thought I was though. Because you were in it so much. Because I was in it so much. Yeah. And then, like, they started to, like, write so much for my character. For you, yeah, yeah. It was like the guy who was making 30, 40 grand an episode had two lines. It wasn't right. even in the episode. Right. And they pre- I was getting paid, like, four grand. I had, like, six scenes in a 30-minute episode. <laughs> it was yeah. like, it was I like, yeah. it, 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 I, I was like, bro. Though. But they never bumped me. Yeah. I feel like the more that they could go, oh, like, he he's not going to ask for more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <you know>? yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> He and loves, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't ask for shit. Yeah. I probably should have. But then by the time but I was getting pop, ready. I mean, that, yeah, it was such a big pop, though, for you. Yeah. yeah and now it it's blowing the fuck up again on Netflix. Dog, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, I, and I swear, I was thinking, I'm like, okay, maybe they will. And then I remember what happened was John Davis started to pop. So, yeah. like, Dwayne was already Dwayne. But then John Davis started to pop, and we were already on set, like, waiting on Dwayne. It was like, Dwayne literally would fly in, sometimes fucking helicopter would land. You're and kidding, he, really? No, dead ass. That's oh, my God. Sick, I love, dude. Like, I no, love that. Ass. Like, we called it, we called it a, a, a Dwayne lunch, right? So we take lunch, regardless of what time crew call was. Mm-hmm. Whenever Dwayne gets there, they rap for lunch for an hour and a half. Because they know it's gonna take him time to get ready, and he just got there, and they move the entire day around. It was like so, that. like, if your scene was next, and you would have been able to go home, no. Dwayne lunch. It's a Dwayne lunch. We're taking lunch at ten thirty a.m. because Dwayne just got here. Dude, so fuck that. I'm not taking the dog, van to set anymore, dude. Dog. Give me the copter. Dog. Like we're legit. We would do the lunch, wait for him to be ready, and then they go film all of his scenes so he can leave because he has be, shit to do. That's gonna be Gianni season yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. season five. We gotta chop her in. So they're like, yeah, yeah we got he's five gonna scenes. He's gonna chop. Hey, he's here. <laughs> legit. <laughs> legit. They'd be like, oh, sorry, Chris, your scene just got pushed to the end of the day. You're the last scene up now. I mean, here's the thing. It is for the rock, so. Like I get, I get it, you know. Yeah. But if it was like you know, what anyone I mean? else, yeah. yeah, anyone else, you couldn't do that. But even in those moments, that's why it's a testament to Dwayne. He was graceful, bro. Like I was the guy looking for something wrong with him the whole yeah, time. And you couldn't. I was like, all this shit on the internet can't be true. Like he's not the greatest guy in the world. Yeah. He's not just this. This is a fucking act, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be around the guy enough. I'm gonna spot it. I'm gonna pick it out. Never happened. Good guy. It's a great fucking guy. <laughs> what, what was I was that? like, Jesus Christ, like, there's nothing? Yeah. No, he's a great guy. I love Dwayne, bro. Like, he's really the guy that it could be 300 people standing out there, and he's going to take pictures with all and of them. And he seems like he actually cares. And actually, yeah, that yeah. was my biggest thing. I was like, bro, to be at that level yeah. and making that t- yeah. type of an entrance, to still make others feel like you want to be here, not that you have to be. Yeah. He still had the energy of, man, I want to be here, man. Thank you. Nice appreciate. Good, good job, Chris. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ. And it doesn't <laughs> feel, and it doesn't, it doesn't feel less. phony. It did, like, it didn't yeah. at all, bro. Because I hate it when that shit feels phony yeah. with people, you know? Like, if people are just like pleasantries. Yeah. And they, they're, they're like good politicians. Bro, if Some it is phony, he really mastered good, like, that shit. Yeah. He but if you actually it. care about people, you're good with people. Like, I, there's nothing better. Yeah, no. especially in this business, because like people. Exactly, bro. With that type of like level of notoriety and attention that he gets, for him to be still like that, like, kudos to him, because that's how that's 
That's tough. And so you yeah. ran on that show the whole the whole time, right? I no, mean, no, no. I, I I came in on season three. Okay. When uh, I I wasn't lucky enough to be in Miami with the boys. I wasn't oh, lucky. Oh, right, because that's the Miami season. No. Yeah. yeah. But God knew oh, that. Well, yeah. Chris, Chris would have kids. Yeah. That would have been I'd dangerous. Have a baby mama from Cuba or something by now. Like I'd be visiting. I'd be sending for my child from <laughs> the Cuba. Eye, the eye roll from yeah. the <laughs> camera. You got a baby mama in Cuba? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, but legit. So God, I think God was, what, God was looking out, out yeah, for old knew, Chris, yeah, man. Yeah, you know knew, what I'm saying? So you no, might not, you might not be here with us. Right I now, wouldn't you know? be, bro. I probably wouldn't be here. I'd be probably working at Starbucks trying to make those uh, child support payments. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dwayne, you remember me, man? You remember me, Dwayne? I'll be trying to make those child support payments, bro. If I had two years yeah. in, in Miami, yeah, oh man, tough. as a series regular, if I, oh man, because I feel like if no, I was yeah, in there, yeah. if I was in there season one and two, I would have been a series regular. You shot ballers in LA, yeah. And you and you shot your show in LA too. Yeah, in downtown. Oh, dude, I'm so fucking jealous of you guys. Yeah. See, you want to shoot here, bro? I, you think I don't want to be in my favorite city in my yeah. bed and just go to work? I don't. Yeah, I don't want it either. I, I, I'm, yeah. I don't. Why? Want to me, it takes away the actor, ex the full actor experience. At least oh, yeah. what my dream used to be. My dream of being an actor, bro. That little kid from Chicago was like. Oh, you got to go on a plane and you're working, and now you live in New York for three months yeah, filming, I guess. and you get per diem, and you get uh, cars picking you up. The, the the transpo van came and got you, yeah. And you're going to random bars, meeting random people, and interacting more yeah. than you would. To me, that's the experience for me. To me, it makes it feel too much like work if I'm going to my real house, sleeping in bed, driving my regular car to work. It makes me I wouldn't even want to be there. It should feel too no, much like a job. I've never done that. So yeah. I mean, obviously, I guest starred in a lot of shows, but I was so poor, so like. I never had that experience of being like, oh, I'm in my, you know, I'm going to work. It was oh, always yeah. like one day on a show. Okay, and then that like was driving it. on the lot with your parking spot. Yeah, and shit. I want that. Okay. And then at the end of the night, I want to, you know, obviously go to like Poppy and be like, I just got upset. <laughs> yeah. with the bottles, you know? yeah, no, I feel you. I feel, no, I don't, bro. I want to be somewhere random like in Vermont. What's the Hollywood experience? Yeah, I want to immerse myself in the full Hollywood He lives it though. Where's yeah, yeah, Lindsay yeah. Lohan? <laughs> <laughs> you Where's home, the though? fucking blow, man? Yeah. They the said there would be blow? cocaine in Hollywood. Where is it? The last time I saw you was when I was with Chris. We pulled up, and it, it, oh, I, shit, I felt I like it was like that. that. Like Chris, like pulls up, window rolls down, and he's like, "Yo, what up, boys?" Was like, <laughs> <laughs> some random girl. That some random girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So yeah, so and it's like you're with some. I don't know. If you, you had just met this girl. Like, she didn't even know. Oh, I met her. Dude, I met that girl even like thirty minutes before. By the way, I'm not. I'm not putting on. I'm no, black. I'm just saying. No, it's hilarious. Trust me. Everything has been said in this box. No, no, no. I, yeah. I was. I was. We like, can cut that. I was like, this no, can no, cut that. No, keep it. And we'll never guys like, what's like, it's like, what's your name? Like, it was like, you literally had no idea. What she, like, you know, she was so. Oh, was she so, was getting on his nerves too. Remember? Oh yeah, you guys. Yeah, it was she so kept talking funny, shit man. about like so your funny. foot or something. Was she fire? I don't remember. I don't she remember. was wearing I, your jacket. I, the only she? thing I remember was the house that we were in that night. Like, yeah, the house was the nice. house was yeah, yeah. Was crazy. Did, and then we went to Classic Cat, which I love. Classic did we go to Cat. Classic yeah, Cat? I bailed. I bailed. Yeah, he I did. Make, yeah, me and you went to Classic yeah. Cat with uh. But that was the first time I, I met him because I yeah. always wanted to meet you too because I always wanted you to come on the podcast. Yeah, and obviously, yeah. Like I love your work, but yeah. that was the first that you're like I'm with Shane. Pull up, dude. Chris knows everybody. No. We pull up to this like forty million dollar Beverly Hills mansion. I'm like, dude, it was unreal. I'm like, where are we? Yeah, bodyguards, <laughs> bouncers. Chris gives a little like you know dab up on the way in. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Chris grabs some champagne out of the car. I didn't even know you know where that champagne yeah. had been. Chris yeah, pulled out the champagne, ready. gives it to I mean, the host. For God's sakes, it was the girl's birthday. Chris right? moves so fucking smooth. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. so smooth. It was the girl's man. birthday. For God's sake. When you're with Chris, you're like totally taken yeah. care of, and everyone respects it. I mean, yeah, yeah man. I'm just trying to do what I can do. But I'm taking care of him for the Drake concert tonight. I got you, bro. I'll get you with some passes. You, you, I get you. That shit's on record. Well, actually not, because this won't come out for a few more Tuesdays, huh? Yeah. So damn it, I can't really even use that on you. Yeah. You're a smart motherfucker. You're smarter than you look. I like that. You're smart. All right, let's wait. Hold on. First off, we're going to take another break, but I just want to shout out Bear Mattress for sponsoring the boys. They just sent us two mattresses. Ooh I'm sleeping like a baby now. Their Labor Day sale is currently happening right now, and you can get 35% off on the Bear website. Just go check out their site for more details. Now, what is Bear Mattress, you ask? Well, I'm whispering because I'm putting you guys on, and I don't want anyone else to find out. 
Now, Bear Mattress is a premium mattress made to improve your sleep, your lifestyle, and the best part, it's shipped right to your front door. You don't even gotta go anywhere. Now listen, I like the finer things in life, so me, I need the softest mattress possible. Some people like hard, some people like soft, but that's the best part about Bear Mattress is that it fits for you, okay? I personally, I had them send me the softest one they had. Bear sent me this mattress, oh my God, it's it's incredible. I've gotten the best sleeps of my, look at me. I'm like, I, I actually stopped drinking caffeine because I'm getting such good sleeps, now I have energy now. The best part is, I, you know, me, I can't really set up anything. Bear delivers it, rolled up in a box. All you gotta do is just open it, slide it out, and it's there. And there is a 120 night sleep trial to test this mattress out to see if you love it. And listen, once you sleep in it, you're not going back. Once you go Bear, you're not going back. <laughs> Now, Bear mattresses include a lifetime warranty, and they offer payment plans and financing options. Now, Bear's Labor Day sale is running right now, so you can get 35% off for a limited time. And you can always click the Crew Has It Boys link below for 30% off, but take that extra five. Go to the Labor Day sale right now. So make sure you go to bearmattress.com, B-E-A-R, backslash crew, and use the promo code crew for 30% off your mattress. And back to the episode, energized because I got a good sleep. We can bullshit. I just, I actually am genuinely, genuinely curious. Smarter than. Well, so I'll after, so after you did the the Good Luck Charlie, like, did you start to blow, like, did you get the Hollywood experience? You get the Disney kid Hollywood experience? No, no, man, not at all. Like, Damn I, it. like, no, I, I, I was like, no, I was, I was like very. Very low key, didn't really, no, didn't really get too much of that just because of, I think it was just my preferences. Like I wasn't trying to like, you know, pull up at every, you know, like wild, like Disney. I mean, I know, I know all those people, like all those people in the headlines of like the, you know, I was around it, but I never really experienced it. I was super low key, yeah, like yeah. really low key. So you just went to work and literally went home and. Yeah, yeah. And also I, I, I was because I was recurring on that show so I right. could work on other stuff. Right. So that's when my career actually started like kind of filling out. Right. Mm -hmm. And I got my first real uh, film role, worked on a Rob Reiner uh, picture and um, you know, got a recurring part on this other show called Awkward, which was an MTV oh, yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I and that. I had my first like character part on that show. And so like, as an actor, I, f I feel <clears throat> during that time, I was really focused on grow like the work. I really wanted to be successful right. and kind of keep, uh, you know, cause, and the thing with those shows is, and I think everyone kind of gets this, but you get stuck. Like as For a sure. Disney kid or For as sure. a Nickelodeon kid, you yeah, know, like yeah. you get totally stuck because you're in contracts. You can't work on other stuff. Right. And so when you get off the off the gig, you know, you're, you're thinking, oh, my career's about to just absolutely pop off. Right. And then for a lot of people, it doesn't because it's just like you know, there's a stereotype, and you have to break that mold. But for me, I was already trying to, yeah. you know, already in the middle of trying to like, f like, and I wasn't even intentional. I was just, you know, the parts that I got that I was interested in or passionate about. You obviously put that little bit of extra work because you're excited about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And so that's kind of what I remember about those years anyways, you know? Dude, that's so dope. Yeah, actually, that's probably why you popped and a lot of those people, you know, Dude, because you, he went his ass home. Yeah, you yeah. got, well, and you got to do, uh, you know, you got to do other shit. You got to do all, all that at the same time so they can't put you in a box. That's 100% that, 100%. Yeah. And I'm really grateful because that's not by design, you know? At the time, if they would have wanted to put me on a contract and I almost got like, because what they do is they'll filter out, like they'll 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 use the, the filter of guest stars and recurring to like put other people on, like put them on like series regular jobs. Right. On different shows mm. and I almost got a bunch of those shows and I didn't and I was like right. what's wrong with me and all right, these right. other kids are, they're, they're parlaying this into being leads right and I was just the you know guest star and the you know people they always you know the other kids on the show give me shit you know oh you just, you know oh this is for the series regulars you know this is for the like really? you know what I mean yeah 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 I mean they're my friends we but like joking around no yeah. but they they busted my balls a lot and when you're a kid you get sensitive you know yeah. I'm, a, yeah. I'm a you know I'm an artist like I'm sensitive yeah. you know right, yeah, I'm yeah. like you know I'm like in the back like, like I'm not part you. of the yeah. crew you know right. like fuck you. so it so it actually ended up being a blessing in disguise which is a I think how life works anyways you know yeah so, so then when did you have time to be the fucking Teenage heartthrob music sensation. Like he's was, lived so many wait, different I'm, lives. Yeah, bro. Like now this dude is one of the most interesting men. My in the radio world, bro. Disney. When I tore up radio Disney and was like, dog, he touring. was like on tour. He's got like really? he's oh, yeah, got yeah, music yeah. videos I, with millions the, of got, views on dude, YouTube the right now. Receipts online for like my like 
like His like old career? pop star career or it's so bad. Like I've got music oh, video. I know, I know, I know. I know. No. Bad. Like nah, like you need to put this shit like on the screen. Y'all got good technology. Y'all getting money over here at Malcolm. Dude. Put that shit right here. Show a little clip right here. Show it. He's like, hit it and <laughs> <laughs> show it. Show the view count right here. At least I don't have to, you know, the, the fans can watch it. At least I don't have to. Dog, I'm still no. like, oh God, you know when your whole life get, gets captured? Like yeah. as a, yeah, as yeah. a, I'm like, oh no. Have power people put two and two together mm -hmm. a lot or not much? A little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's actually funny because when season one came out, I, I got a tweet um, um, from somebody like putting a side by side of the character I played on Disney with like uh, with Vic. And uh, it's so funny, just the contrast. Like yeah. they look like different, you know, I mean, yeah. I was, obviously I have like four, you know, 15 to 16 in, in the um, Disney, Disney days, but uh and I, I captioned, I retweeted and I said, Vic would eat Spencer for lunch or something. Or Vic would, <laughs> Vic yeah. would eat Spencer for breakfast yeah. or something like that. And it like went wild. Like, so I think that was actually kind of helpful. And it's, it's fun actually too, because the, the crossover is there because a show that big and that nostalgic, Good Little Charlie was a massive hit. And so yeah. it's, and it's, it's getting even bigger now because of all the streaming stuff yeah, and TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, the crossover is like, there's a, there's a big crossover. Who was, was the lead of that? Was that, what's her name? Uh, Bridget Miller. Oh, I thought it was um, the other one, the Ooh. the girl from Sweet Life on Deck. Oh, oh, Debbie Ryan. Yeah. Oh, she she wasn't Good Luck Charlie. No, no, but I know Debbie. Okay. I mean, I've known yeah. Debbie for years. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Dude, that's fucking awesome. What a Bro. what a great show power next to do. Uh, Cause did you were you a series regular on any shows before? Yeah, I was a series regular on a um, MTV show that didn't go called Happy Land. Uh huh. Mm. No one watched it and got canceled. But that was my like series regular as an as like more of an adult. I was like right. eighteen, right? Yeah. And I was like, "This is it, baby." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I was making nothing, but I the, I thought I was making so much money too. Like what they right. gave me, I was like, "Yeah, like I'm Fucking about like rich. I'm about to buy a house for my family." You know, yeah. I was like, <laughs> and you're, it you're was wait, sweet. Wait, it was really what sweet. What are the real estate prices? In yeah, LA? yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. No, it I'm was, about to get this condo in North Hollywood. It was yeah. really, it was really sweet. I was like, oh, you know. I was like I'm about to, you know, about Facts. to do it. Yeah, I yeah, about to know. do it. And then, um, and then that show got canceled. But no, but yeah. Uh, and then, kind of my bit, like I did a star, a uh, star show called Hi uh, High Town. Oh yeah, okay. And right. that was kind of like that was it for me. Like that really, right. That really was was kind was it. And then that's how I got. So that into was the just power. a legit audition came in. Did you go in the room or was that a tape or? Dude, I went in the. I, I taped and then I went in the room for a test, like immediately. And then yeah, I got. And then Did I got. Did you have to like OD or like what? Ha like what was the scene like? Like your. Uh no, the scene. That's like a high, that's like a high like overdosing type show, right? Like yeah, yeah. I was playing a drug dealer okay. and an, oh, and yeah, an yeah. addict. Yeah, and an and an addict. Right. Um and um super heavy script. Yeah. And uh, and it's funny because I was going through some like shit at the time, and I was like uh, kind of in a dark like dark place. Dark place for me, you know. Right. I mean, it's a varying degrees for everybody, but I was kind of just like fuck it, man. I'm just like feeling so like in my head, and you know, so dark that place for him. He's like, damn, my hair's not parting right, dude. Like, no, I shaved I shaved my head because I was like I was like fuck this like. Bullshit! Like I'm right. shaving my head, and I, you know, everyone's always like, "Oh, you like oh, Hollywood? It's always so pretty." Like your reps, and what do they think? And then check this. I'm like, I'm just gonna like live my life, you know. I shaved right. all my hair off, I was smoking a lot at the time, you know. what I mean, just like ripping, just like kind of depressed. Yeah. And it was a perfect time because that character just like it was just like lit up. Like I went in the room and it was just like working. Right. Because I just like was connecting in some way. But yeah, that was a really it was a it's a great show. The shaved head definitely probably helped because Oh dude, it's the whole reason. It, yeah. Yeah, it took you out of like that whole It just let them see, you know, lets them see you in a different light. And I always tell like people, you like you have to let yourself like go through what you're going through and evolve like in life. Because yeah. that's how you're gonna get to the next thing. You can't get stuck in, you know, the the successes of the past and like what you've been doing. Right. You know, you gotta let yourself change and go through what you're going through. Because right. for me, that was a big artistic breakthrough. I didn't even know it was at the time. Yeah. But I was just like kind of letting myself go through. And it was shit. It was shitty, and my friends were worried about me, and people, you know, calling me yeah. up. Hey, you good? You know, I'm just like ah, you know. And then it turned into something great. So, but yeah, it was literally just like I was like, yeah, just like you know, shave, shave your head, <laughs> shave your head, and book a job. It was like shave your head, book a job. Dude, I was on. I was like, I was like, I don't know what to do, man. Like, I'm like. I was like running out of money a little bit, or just like not knowing like how to like how do I do? You know, I've been in Hollywood my whole life, yeah. never had a, like a, a a working job, you know. And I was kind of like, how am I supposed to do this? Like, yeah. keep going, you it's know. Like it was that shit, kind man. of like adult. Yeah, it was like yeah. that really coming to terms with like, 
you know, like taking like extreme like ownership of your life, right. you know, like anyways, not to get too heavy, but no, it, it all, it all turned you? out really good. And then from there it kind of scooped up. And yeah. You did that show with Monica Raymond who Monica, Love Monica. um, she directed, uh, an episode of ghost this season, which you guys, oh yeah, I forgot she is directing now. Four. I can't wait to see that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was on what's fire. fire. She was on Chicago Fire. Oh no, yeah, yeah. We talked about you. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, <laughs> how was, how was like, that? Where you? <laughs> you can be honest. How was it? Yeah, yeah. No, I did. I was like, I was like, you like the boys? I was like, what about Gianni? <laughs> I did. I did. I said specifically, yeah. She said she loved you. Yeah, she said she loved you. Yes, I love her. Did you guys have a lot of fun? Oh yeah, she's great. Yeah, she's like that set. Those guys have a lot. Of, they have a really good time. Yeah, because we're out of control, dude. Yeah. Dude, we're out of control. Oh damn, I could imagine y'all said. I, dude, I actually had a meltdown. One her her last day, I think I had a meltdown. Did I? Yeah, it was her episode. That was like my only meltdown in like well, four what, seasons. What happened? It was only because. Yeah, what was it? It was because it was a fucking voiceover. Uh -huh. And it was a giant paragraph. It was like a whole page. And then it was supposed to be a voiceover. And then I get in there like, oh, no, actually, we're going to shoot it. The, the second AD didn't so you had, oh, So you had came in like not oh, having fuck, that you were shit memorized, right? You were going to read it. Yeah, because yeah, it was, it was yeah, a voiceover. We're just going to so read it. Shit, and then the, the second AD even came up to me. And she was like, she's like, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't text you. So I was like, whatever, like whatever. And it was a giant scene with a bunch of people in it. I can't give anything away. Yeah. But there were so many people in the scene. So I'm, I'm in a room of like 150 people and I'm fucking up the lines and everyone's like, why can't this guy like get this right? And I'm like, no one knew that it was a voiceover except yeah. literally me and the second AD because I don't want to rat her out. So like Monica, I don't You're even kidding. think I don't even think Monica knew Stop. that that, that it, they kidding. fucked up. So I had a meltdown. I was like, "Fuck!" Like it was the first time I ever did that. Yeah. On set, you on set. Yeah, I was like, "Motherfucker!" Because you I'm like terrible at acting. I was like, "Because you like 200 people and like because you messed up a part of it or like what do you mean? I just like in the middle of I like you couldn't get, get the, it. The, pe the the lines right because it was literally like a walking shot. This sounds oh, you're walking like the my it's like nightmare. Drama. Yeah, like nightmare. Like so now yeah. they have nightmares about this where they're like, "Hey, yo, you got to do this," yeah. and I'm like. I'm trying to learn this whole page, you know, too many yeah, to die. Dude, that's awful. That's the episode of Entourage when when uh when he walks in and he tells him, so drama on your monologue, we're gonna do it on the move now. <laughs> He's like, he says, wait, yeah. on the move? He's yeah. like, on the move? He's like, oh, on the move? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. He's like, that's drama, you're a great actor. Yeah. It's fine. You're, you'll yeah. be fine. Oh, and we added three more pages. Yeah, it was Eddie Burns. Yeah. It was oh Eddie Burns. Yeah. Do you see Entourage? I've seen it. Dude, yeah, we yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. love it. Oh, we talk about all this. You guys, like, you guys are like on you guys are like those guys to me. Yeah. Like I like when I when we were together. That night, I was like, I'm gonna fuck an episode of Entourage. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, you gotta get the car. He's like, hey, boys, like, the, 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 the girls, like, on riding on the roof or something. And I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, I, I swear like, to God. Like, it really was. Like, it felt, it felt I was like a it. TV kid, Shane. Like, so for me, in an odd way, it was Entourage. And the fucking show, The O.C., bro. Yeah. That made me want to move to L.A. You're kidding. The, the O.C.? OC? <laughs> bro, I don't even look like a nigga who would love that shit. Love it. Right? Ryan Atwood? Are you fucking kidding me? If Ryan Atwood could do it, I, was, I knew I could do it. And that's what I told myself. I used to watch that shit, and it was California, here we come. I'm on my way, too, motherfucker. I am on my goddamn way. Ryan Atwood did it. He got lucky as fuck. He had a great life. Seth Cohen was a great friend. I said, oh. I want this for myself. I watched it a year ago, so it's fresh. It's somewhere. amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's when, from Chino Hills. Why can't I do it from Chicago? That's, he was from Chino. He's a he fucking He thought Chino. he was like a kid from the OG. California. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Black leather jacket? Chris has got the top down. <laughs> Dog, I was ready, bro. That shit, that shit lit a fire under my ass in Chicago. I said, God damn it. We're on our way to California, entourage, motherfucker. I'll tell you entourage that. Entourage, I get. The OC is, that's a that's But no, it was yeah. a combination of both. Entourage too, though. Because like literally, that was a uh, entourage is why I signed with my first uh, my with my manager. He was at another company. Yeah, but I remember going to the meeting and I was like, okay, check. The office is in Beverly Hills. It's not in the Valley. I was like, okay, thanks Ari Gold. <laughs> thanks Ari Gold. It's not in the Valley. The <laughs> office is in Beverly Hills. Check Had a receptionist and, and she was and she was attractive. I was like, all right, check. Order thanks, something. Entourage. Order something specific. So they will always forget. remember you. Yeah. Yes, I did that. I ordered. I ordered like. Coffee, but I didn't. I wanted a very specific, right? <laughs> did that, and then this is that what is did it for me, bro. Unbelievable. His fucking assistant. My manager's name is Jared, but his assistant's name. Guess what it was? What Ari. And I said, you two are the my silence guys. in the room. That's it. Man. I said, wow. you two are my fucking guys. That's I it. said, I'm done. I'm sold. You want to know what's even crazier? Is I moved to LA. Obviously, like I was always like an entertainer. Like that's the way I was yeah, growing yeah. up. But like. Loved entourage. I was like, wait, these guys make all this money. Yeah. They're actors. 
everyone wants to like all the yeah. girls want to be with them. Like, dude, this looks amazing. <laughs> so like, I had never been to LA, and I came to LA because of Entourage, and I was yes. like, oh my god, it's the greatest place ever. <laughs> Like two years Dollar later, two years later, I signed with Leverage, the management company that made Entourage. And, oh. and they repped the whole roster. See, I was like, well, where does I was like, person, I was like if you know? I'm not in the right place, like yeah. you guys. Because like, like, that's what I felt when I booked Ballers. Because I was like, Ballers is the exact same right. people that do Entourage. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, it's yeah. everybody. It's right. basically Entourage, yeah, but football players. Dog, so when I did that, I said, you can't tell me yeah. that I wasn't supposed to be out right, here. Right. I'm with the people. <laughs> you're right. I'm with the you're fucking right. Entourage people, Dude, bro. I, w- I would go into the leverage office, and there would literally be like Entourage posts everywhere. I'm like, damn. This yeah, that's is amazing. Crazy. Dude. That's fire. Yeah. You're like, your boy made it. That's fucking fire. <laughs> I, like, I had not booked it, anything yet. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I yeah. did it, dude. I'm, I've arrived. No, that's I'm crazy. I'm in Hollywood. That's crazy. Wait, you came here. How old are you then when you came here? I, I moved here on my 19th birthday. Yeah, I think we talked about it yeah. that night. We were chilling. But yeah, okay, so 19. Yeah. 19th wow. birthday. I, I moved here. And you just here. rolled up. Like, I didn't know. Did you have my a place uncle, to stay? What was your, like, because people that come from, you know, because I obviously was closer to, right. like, mm-hmm. the, you know, the, the vicinity. It wasn't, like, that big. When people show up, like, you know, like, full tank of gas and, like, a bag, you know, full of clothes, like, your yeah. story. Yeah. It's so inspiring to me. Like, I love that shit. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, really, I, do, I, I was so I have so much respect. Yeah, but I have so much respect for you that. You came by like, yourself or you had your family? I came with my older that brother. That was delusion. Uh, dude, I came with my older brother. I literally remember, this is how crazy I was. I literally remember walking I emailed so I moved I was here for like a week I emailed every agent at CAA and I was like I'm here (laughs) I've arrived really dude like so delusion I remember and I didn't like obviously no one answered at CAA yeah you didn't (laughs) get any any calls back dude I was actually had one response it's like we're not taking on any developmental clients I was like oh like oh that's nice thank you but now looking back now they scroll down they saw the headshot oh I like this yeah 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 he's got some a twinkle in his eye right 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 (laughs) but but I remember walking up and down running and being like do they get it like, I was just rem- dude. I was so delusional. Obviously, like as you're like going into classes and like you know being around other people, you start to get it and understand. Yeah. But I still like know nothing in my mind was like, dude, I'm making it. Like, there's no fucking way. You saw I'm yourself out. as a star. You yeah, were for sure. Yeah, yeah. And you have to. You have to. It. But like, I remember I was so delusional when I first moved here. But yeah, I moved here with my older brother, and I only knew my uncle who was struggling too at the time. He, he, he created Bates Motel, but like, so like it was wow. like the first thing he'd ever, uh, like he'd done a couple like small indies. But the first like big thing he ever so he's did. he's a writer? writer yeah, he's yeah. a writer. And now he's doing like a ton of huge shit. And now like finally we're like coming together and be like, oh, like I'm doing, like now I'm this, like That's together. Fire. Yeah, what's but, the production company name? I, I feel something coming on. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are yeah. going to be, yeah, yeah, be auditioning gonna, for your project. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, that's the only person I knew, man. Like it was wow. crazy. And your brother, what was he trying to do? My brother, it's funny, literally. My brother was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a manager for like six years. Love it. Yeah. And he actually <laughs> got Christian. he got in a big company and all this stuff, but he just, dude, he just didn't love like entertainment. The way that it was going, like a lot of, they were like pushing him out kind of because you know, he's like kind of like alpha male, like white guy. And they were just like, you can't have this at the office. Yeah, like, yeah. Like he would like watch UFC and they're like, this is offensive. They're like, chill dog, chill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, relax, yeah. relax. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he, he's doing sales now, but we moved out. Like uh, like on to you know what I mean like uh, manager you were like I'm gonna make we're gonna make the dream happen yeah. together and then you were like I had to fire peace. him I actually <laughs> fired him because at, the, your brother, I love at it. the time he was like um you're gonna be a star kid yeah he was in he you was fired your own well he brother. was like independently big. managing me but he didn't have like the breakdowns yeah and shit. yeah yeah of course so he yeah. was just talking to my agent and then my agent yeah. was like you should like get like a real manager and that's actually looking at the, <laughs> the yeah. casting breakdown. yeah and then I got a real manager and I had to call my brother and be like because he had moved back to Rhode Island to yeah. to play hockey and college yeah. and I was like listen dude just it's not working out man like I gotta <laughs> let you go and he's not forgiving me since but he li- we all live together wait here. no serious are you being serious yeah I'm dead ass like forgiving you to the point where y'all don't speak no 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 I just, oh like y'all are cool he's but like, he's just like you fire me? You? Oh, okay. then, he, then he moved back out like a year later and he got at like a huge comedy management company he was uh, there for like oh, four okay. years right. but I had a manager that I liked so he's still like, in the business no he, 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 he does Sorry. sales now he's oh he's sales that's right yeah. That's right. Yeah. but oh, he okay. still lives here we all you know Really? Yeah. You guys live together. Well, he said. just moved in with his girlfriend, but okay. my little brother lives with me. Well, so cool. you're you've got you've got two brothers, and that's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're are you the middle? I'm the middle. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm, middle, I'm middle child. That's are my, you? Oh yeah. Older sisters or brothers? Old, or yeah, older sister and then younger brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they? Oh, do damn. they? Are they in the industry? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah. My sister was a dancer, and then my and yeah, then, you told me. Yeah, and then my brother. Um, he did that classic like brother thing where like, my brother's like very handsome, very handsome kid. Like right. he looks like a male mock, very like he's like lean and like he's got tattoos, you know. 
he obviously didn't have tattoos when he got signed, but we like went in um, to get like an agent when I was, you know, and they saw him like, what's he do? You know, it's a handsome yeah. kid. You know, yeah. like literally, I'm like, take this is about like, me. Yeah, yes, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, you. Yeah, yeah. And so he like did modeling and stuff um, as a kid, but he never, he, he, he didn't like the industry. What does he do now? He's a Revit engineer. He builds, he makes like blueprints for um, ar- uh, uh, architecture. Damn, oh, he's go. fucking hot and smart, dude. Dude, it's crazy. I know. If I'm a damn. Is he married? Is he? No, no. He's he's on the scene though. He's wild. What a good girls. guy. He's a, what a great guy. Does he live in LA? Uh, no, he lives in Orange County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Same. We used to go to Poppy together. Same. 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 I'm like, this same. is my friend here. He's really same. good at yeah. smart. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Same. We yeah. both say yeah. same. So, so when when did the power email come in the, for force? When did the email come in? Yeah. When? What was your thoughts in it? Like, obviously, High Town. You did you die in High Town? Yeah. You did. Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. Junior ODs at the end on a toilet. Oh wow. With a needle in his arm. How was that? Oh shit. Yeah. It was dark. Yeah. <laughs> it was dark. Yeah. I mean, because he takes the whole character arc, he, he ends up getting back into um, shooting up and then and then he and then he uh, and then he, you know, ODs at the end and it's like it's pretty heavy. Did you, you know? want to die on the show or you No, no, I love the show. I thought I was having such a good time, I really wasn't even thinking about it. And also too, I figured I couldn't I couldn't I really couldn't believe that I was able to be there and work on a show like that. I was so After excited and so yeah. grateful. Yeah, yeah. It was just one of those things where I'm like, man, this is all this is all incredible and I'm learning so much and like really so I didn't really think I was like you know but then when they told me it's like hey you're toast you know like yeah. like the creator you know Rebecca uh, sat me down and was like hey, you know we gotta we gotta we gotta kill Junior because it's it's like our whole like season arc like finale you yeah. know and I was like alright like I actually took it like better I think I was just so again grateful for right. the whole experience yeah, yeah, yeah. but I was really like really sad because I thought I was gonna do that run like a run with a show and they ended up doing um, three seasons Post. Um, I don't know no, yeah, uh, three seasons in total. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they did two others. I don't know if they're uh, canceled or picked up again. I'm not sure, but um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was super upset. And then Star- So then Stars was like, you know, we want to get you on another show. You know, really liked having you on High Town, whatever. And then um, ended up meeting uh, Fifty and Joseph at the same time at the same like thing in L.A. It was something for promote. It was Upfronts. Oh, and, nice. fi- and Fifty was there. Um, and so I met 50 and Joe. Jeff Hirsch was like, Shane, meet 50, meet Joseph. Like, I want to, you know, maybe there's something, you know, maybe we'll get you on one of the power shows, you know? And I was like, I was like, cool. And I was like, 50, Joseph is fucking crazy. You know, yeah. like the two of them at the same time. I was like, yeah, damn. Was was like, yeah, 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 that's crazy. Did yeah, you yeah. watch Power at the time? or? Um, I hadn't seen it yet. I obviously knew what it was and I knew Joseph and I knew like this, like I, when I think of stars, I think of power. Right. Like that's because you know, everyone knows the show, obviously. If I hadn't seen it, um, yeah, uh, maybe an episode or two. And then, and then when I got the audition, sent it in, they were like, I don't think we're going to, the age isn't right. And then um, they, called, they called me up. Actually, I had booked a movie that I was supposed to go film. And then they ended up calling me up like four days after I booked this movie. And we're like, hey, can you screen test? And they're like, yeah, we got an offer for this, for this film. And I really wanted to do the film. It was great. It's a great project, great script. Um, and, uh, and so I kind of had these two things, like, do I do, you know, and then, but it's like, but it's power, it's, power. it's a giant TV That's show. It's like, baby. of course. Which, which one yeah, do we do? One do? Really? Which one do we do? Yeah. That Look at you, you're going to sit here and throw your whole career. You're ready to fire the guy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> wait, yeah. What, wait, what happened? That was an episode. Like, you seen an entourage <laughs> where like, oh, they were like, I thought to do this was you. I was like, jumpers or Benji? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're going to do everything back to entourage. <laughs> but yeah, you're trying to figure out which project no, you do. No, it was like the weirdest thing. I was so like, I, yeah, well, not, well, yeah, but I mean, not, at that point, not for me. I was like, yeah. I was like, what the fuck do I, you know, I've never had like a choice. I'm always just trying to get. Like a lot of people don't understand, like yeah, like w- when you're when you're like hustling as an actor, it's mm-hmm. not like this. You know, my family still doesn't get it, like my extended family. You know, right. they like think you know like we all have houses in Malibu. You know what right. I mean? <laughs> yeah, they're like, well, so where's the when are you get in the thirty million dollar house and on the and on the water? Wait, you guys you know, have like, houses in Malibu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I forget. Hold on. Nerds. I forget. No, I forget who I'm talking to, Chris. <laughs> wait, wait, we wait, still wait, wait. haven't done our. <laughs> we still haven't done our third and fourth season. Our, baby. After our third and fourth season, just you wait. We're coming up. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it, but it's like it, I never had had that uh, you know before in my career. So it was interesting. But obviously, power was like just this massive. Ma- I was very excited at, ab- ab- about it, and then I ended up doing um, a screen test with Joseph uh, over Zoom. Yeah. Terrible. Terrifying. Awful, terrifying. Awful. Dog. That's terrifying. What fucking like, scene. 
A scene that never made it in. That's di- what I'm different, saying. Different, different scene. Oh, dude, the scene was crazy. Like we got, got we're like fucking. Yeah, I had. Wait, a, did you do fake? Fuck no, you, well, you know, did like, you do no like, gun? Uh, did it? you do hand? Uh, did you do gun or no gun? No, yeah, I didn't have. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't have a gun on me at the time. You just, <laughs> yeah, you just had to full. No, full, no, I had the full. Oh. Like, yeah, no, I had the squirt gun. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. No, no, yeah, no. We were both like, I'm like, what the fuck? Are you supposed like, you know, we're both like pulling guns at each other and the thing. I'm like, over Zoom with all the executives. It was off. It was like, and I mean, like it was a delay. So, they're like, is this gonna? Dude, it was so. <laughs> is he? Is he? Point? And then we did like an improv version of it, and I was just like, fuck. Dude, yeah. I was so nervous, man. And Joseph was really, really helpful. Yeah, he's and great. With that, really yeah. generous, and he's such a, a great. He's such a great. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Just, <laughs> we always want to point out the <laughs> <laughs> progress. You know, I, were those flowers? Were those flowers you just handed out? No, I keep going. Keep going. <laughs> no, I love I love Joseph. He's he, he's our guy. I mean, he's our guy. We we yeah. we, we love him. Uh, but he was sure. really good. He was really good to me in that screen test. Um, and I was really nervous. I don't think I even did like my, I, I, you know, once I got to set and was able to like fl- you know flush it out a little bit, flush it out, flush it out. It was really it, it unfolds. Was, sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it all unfolds. I ended up kind of <laughs> like feeling it. But yeah, when they when they when they sent the offer, I ended up having to you know because like the movie offer was in hand, right. and so I was like, mm-hmm. well. Make make the offer before but let go of the movie because if you don't hire mm-hmm. me, then I don't want to be left with no jobs. Right, and so it was kind of a complicated dance, and my management was uh, handled it really well. And then we ended up obviously getting an offer for Power, and I was like, I couldn't believe it, man. I like I cried. I was like, my, I, thought, I was like, this is gonna change, change like my life. Yeah. I, I know, get like, goosebumps every episode, but no, yeah. no, 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 yeah. no. Like I was like, this is gonna set set us up. I mean, yeah. I really like I, I, I looked looked at my girl. I was like, really. I mean, it was like one of those moments that you you think I can't believe it's it's this sentimental, but it really was when they call like close the deal, you know, done. Because I know how big it is. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And I know right. I know that this is like one of those gigs that does change the whole sure. kind of trajectory of your career. Um, and it has. Like we yeah. talk about all the time. Like I'm so grateful for the show, and the fans are incredible. And like you know, it's just been Bro. one of those journeys that I. I I can't and meeting all the people that I've met the most amazing Dude, it's people the working in this ever. in this whole universe yeah, yeah, like yeah, with bro. these guys Legit. and our cast like even just if it, if it was just Chris I would be like this whole thing was worth it like right. this kind of guy you know what I mean right that's again, I'm again I'm getting a little sappy I gotta, that's I, gotta, how I, gotta cool I gotta cool it I love this shit I do this every episode I gotta cool it I gotta every, cool time, sorry. every time someone on the show says something about like how they that's why I ask because I love it I love to know because everyone's is different like Chris was smashing bottles in a hotel room like you were doing a little zoom thing like everyone's is different and yeah. but it's all the same outcome of like I got it and it changed my life and I and Legit. I love it. That's why I love Shane so much, man. I feel like me and him kind of we got this child actor thing. His was like a little bit more different than mine because right. he had way more success as a child actor. He was on bigger shows and bigger networks. But I feel like the you can get tainted when you're a child actor. That right. shit can really taint you. And the fact that it didn't, and he remained like true right. and like a real person, not an actor. Like, dog, he was one of my favorite fucking people. Like, I'm, I'm with Shane like a lot. Like, and people don't know this dude cooks. Man, we be in Chicago fucking making oh, dude, we throw that, we throw this down. Oh my god, no, 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 we don't. But close, yeah. we lived close though. Yeah, I, we would go to like uh, what what do I call it? Non uh, non sexual Tuesdays at Hooters. Non sexual Tuesdays at Hooters. We yeah. have non sexual Tuesdays at Hooters. So what happens is, what I feel like I feel like Hooters is is a, a lot of people don't go to Hooters anymore. But I actually love Hooters, and I actually go for the wings, not to look at anything else. I go for the wings. That's why I go to Magic City too for the wings. But I. I I no, Chris is real Tuesdays. pure about his intentions at Hooters. Yeah, he really, I, oh, he loves I keep the wings. it pure. That's why I go on non-sexual Tuesdays at a non-sexual hour. Yeah. Because if you're at Hooters on a Friday night at 9 p.m., your your intentions could be misconstrued. He, you, you could be there t- for a, a He's there photos. Tuesday 11 a.m. at Hooters. Yeah, I'm yeah. Tuesday 1 Honestly, p.m. Honestly, it's almost more creepy. No, 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 that that's lunch. That means you were hungry, and you saw Hooters, and you stopped. Nah. It looks... It looks. That means you were horny, and you saw Hooters, <laughs> and you stopped. <laughs> but no, man, me and Shane fucking... We do all type of shit, man. We go to Hooters. Hooters and shit, man. He can cook his ass off. The Cacho de Pepe, he kind of taught me how to make Cacho de Pepe. All Are you Italian? No. Uh, no, no, no. But, I, but in my heart, I'm a no, no. I'm, like, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm an Italian grandma at heart. Um, I'm actually like, I just found out because my parents have been lying to me my whole life about what I am. Um, I'm like mostly Ukrainian. I'm like wow. Ukrainian Jewish. Yeah, which is yeah. like, we, yeah, wild. I never, I didn't realize that. I think my family told me I was like German my whole life or something. German and Jewish, which I was like, 
okay, I don't know. But then they, my parents took the ancestry test, and I figured, I, f- I figured out that I was Ukrainian, which oh, is which shit. is wild, especially you know after everything that's been going on. It's like, but yeah, but um, but in my heart, I'm 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 definitely an Italian grandma. I'm a little you no, like no. I made pasta last night. Ham made pasta. I do it all oh, the time. It like, was a hurricane. You had to. There no, was, oh yeah, no, we threw. <laughs> yeah, we threw. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we threw he down. put me on the food freak. The guy on Instagram? Oh, yeah, Steven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dog, bro. Like, he put me on his page and, like, we were in Not Chicago. Another Cooking Show is the best YouTube cooking show. Like, I get all the recipes from him. Yeah, And bro. Phil Donlin turned me on to him. Yeah, bro. But like, yeah, no, Chris, Chris and I throw down the kitchen. Yeah, me Chris and Chris is a cooking, great. Bro. Has he made uh, wings for you? Nah, or he invited his... Paige over the other night and didn't no, invite no, no. me over. No, no, no. See, that's not, that's not, it didn't go down like that, though. But see, Paige was in the area. This is the thing. Paige, every Paige is one of those people who talks shit about downtown. You know, I live downtown. I talk shit about downtown. Right, you're yeah. one of those people. I love downtown. And she's one of those people, oh my God, well, downtown's so downtown. far. It's so far. Oh my God, there's nowhere to park. It's so far, blah, blah, blah. If you're cooking, I'll come. You know what? If I'm ever downtown, I'll call you. And I'm literally in my crib, like, making wings, and then my phone starts ringing. It's Paige, and she was like, Chris, guess where I am? <laughs> and I'm like, where? Downtown. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Text me your address. And I'm like, all right, bet. And I'm making wings. So she got. You, you just know, happen to be making your wings? Yeah. I just happen to be making my wings. He's such a liar. He saw Paige just coming, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> he know. <laughs> he hit Instacart so fast. Oh, man. He's like, yeah. fuck it. I don't care how much it that, is. He didn't even go to Instacart. Care. He went to his neighbor's house. He's like, <laughs> do you have any wings? Any party wings? <laughs> party wings. <laughs> Not whole wings. <laughs> Party. Page heard is on the way. Hey, no, nah, legit. I would have. It yeah. was a code. It I was fucking would have. It was a major code red. I fucking would have. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny because I would have. <laughs> I know. No, I know okay. you were crazy. Did she like him? Huh? What'd she say about the wings? She enjoyed them. She enjoyed the wings. Her she, and her sister. She, her sister. She, yeah. she enjoyed them. Yeah. Come on. She loved them. She did. Yeah, no, no. All she right, enjoyed right. them. I mean, there was no like grand, like, you know, it's not what I'm no, used to. Fire, though. It's oh, not dude, what yeah. I'm used to when people dude, eat Chris my food. Is, is that good? I'm used to like bigger Chris, reactions, but you know, it's Paige Heard. So you get what yeah. Maybe she was just trying to play it cool. Like, yeah, she doesn't want to give you. She was being Paige Heard. She was being modest, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generally, I'm used to a much grander response toward my cooking, but. Yeah, it's hard to impress her, man. Ah, I see. It's hard to impress her. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, I'm curious. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> I, I love Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to impress yeah. It's hard to impress Anyway, so back to the entourage. I was just going to say, though, though, I appreciate you saying that, what you were saying before what? about like uh, the, the bond that we have and everything that we've been. I really appreciate that. Bro, no, because, because you, I, I feel the exact same way about you. I feel like the like You've been in the gauntlet for so long. Yeah. Like you've been in the gauntlet for so long. I really respect just like who you are, your hustle, how you treat people. And how you move and like and you're obviously like a fucking superstar. So that, bro. You know, but 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 the it, yeah, the, you, the respect respect is like so. That's mutual. how I feel about you, bro. It's like you my you like my white black brother, bro. Like I, <laughs> I swear to God, I kill a motherfucker about you, Harper. I swear to God. Dude, when we're dude, when we're what? out, Chris, Chris is so funny, man. Chris is like when we're out and about, especially in Chicago. Oh yeah, because sure. you know, that's like, because that's not my that's not my home city, right? Yeah, right. Uh, so I'm like, you know, and I like, you know, I mean, I know how to move through cities or whatever, because like I've you know been in cities my whole life. But Chris, when we're in Chicago, man, Chris. Runs the block. Chris is like looking out everything, like yeah. all the time, especially in Chicago. Oh, gotta, dude, Chris yeah, is bro, like Chicago? Chris is like big bro to the max. Like, got yeah, he's like got different. me like at, like. I, I feel when we're out with you, I'm just like, yeah, we're good. Like, I tell people, even Mike said that shit on the pod one time. He was like, no, I hit up Chris. He was like, yo, I called him. I seen it on Instagram. He was like in Chicago, bro. I instantly like Facetime. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing in Chicago? Yeah. He was like, yeah. And then Chris was like, bro, if you need anything, hit me. And I was like, no, I'm for real, Mike. I was like, Mike, I'm for real. And we didn't even really know each other like that yet. But I was like, nah, bro. And then I had somebody who was there already like, yo, Go get them. Yeah. Just let them know. Like, I'm not playing. Like, what like was I, he there for? I see you and I don't see you. Like, yeah. I know, like, at least seven niggas in the room you're in right now. <laughs> yeah. I told one of them to t- go like this real quick, let you know that you good now. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You good. <laughs> Someone taps him on the shoulder. He's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, Chris Wait, has what, got, Chris has got people everywhere. I, I think he was doing a, uh, was oh, it a collab? Not with, I don't, why do I want to say it was something so random like K Swiss or Adidas? Oh, it was. Yeah, it was yeah, some yeah. random yeah. shit. Yeah. That's why I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, and what is Chicago doing having a K-Swiss event? What's yeah. happening? Yeah, yeah. And then it was like, I just, I didn't know what was happening. And then he was like, yeah, I'm just here for this random little event. I was like, oh, okay. Let me know. Do you need anything? Must you in the bag. Blink Mike twice the, if yeah. you're not safe. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how did they, a K-Swiss event? They finessed you? What happened, Mike? <laughs> Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> Do you need help, Michael? I was <laughs> <laughs> he was at an and one event. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is happening? Yeah. Like, I feel like Makai right now. I'm sweating. 
Oh, uh, so yeah, I saw uh, that episode. I was like, oh no, am I gonna be hot in the studio? Nah, I, saw that nah, nah, I was, nah, nah, was going to wear a real jacket because yeah, I was going to wear a real jacket, man. And I was like, this yeah, studio is no. not hot. The the other the, New York the one? one in New York. This studio is so temperate, so nice. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm comfy. Fuck Comfy yes. on the couch. Well, I have a, I have a couple more questions than we'll yeah, get you yeah, out of here. Follow up power um, questions or what? Uh, how do you feel about the audition process? Because you're, uh, we were obviously just talking about that before. Do you like auditioning or not really? No, I don't you like hate it. it? Yeah, I don't like at it. all. I think there's a part of me that likes the competitive nature of yeah, it. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I love going to fucking audition and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of get that like, I kind of get that like, uh, come and fuck some shit up. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Right. Which is good. I think you need to have that. Like, if you're if you don't feel that way, you know, I I think it uh, yeah, it's got a rough night in the office, you know, a rough yeah. day in the office. Because it 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 that I like that feeling of being able to kind of get up for those moments, and I also like the kind of unknown of it. But what I don't like about it is that I feel like in the room when you're working on stuff, it just feels so far from the medium. Right. Mm. Like to me, the medium of being like you know the TV and film, right? If that's what we're talking about specifically, it's like. It's just I don't even know how you know you're you're in there you know in an office like with all these executives and then you got the director there and they're trying to have a, a moment and I'm like this is not what we do really when we get there For like sure. when we get there we've got the and and speaking of like the you know crew has it like the crew and right. everyone that helps you create what you're creating mm -hmm. you, it's not a one man show like right. you need your you know you need the makeup team you need the wardrobe team you need every you know what I mean and your fellow actors like that's the vibe right. mm -hmm. and when I get on set I'm not I'm I'm chill man I love my job me too when I get on yeah, set same. I feel like it's just flowing when I see Chris when I stop by Chris's trailer and I give it a knock and he bu busts a bu boom he busts it open the, the music's going yeah. I'm like you're about to have a good yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like yeah. Chris yeah. 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 cool it cool it <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you remember your lines? <laughs> yes. I got them. I'm ready. Chris is the most professional act. He always knows. He's on his shit. <laughs> That's the best feeling in the world. Like I love that. And right. I just think that the auditions are very far from 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 that. So it's a whole different thing to tackle. Right. So it's kind of like a love hate, I guess, if I could, yeah. you know, sum yeah. it up. But would you prefer yeah. self tapes or in person if you had to pick? I mean, I like my I like the experience of the self tape because you can kind of, you know, you can kind of make you can make it what you want it to be right. a little bit more mm -hmm. instead of feeling the but there's that perform you know my first experience acting was doing theater as a kid right. and when you can feel that you know right where we're going you know yeah. there's mm -hmm. people there you know the it's like, nervous oh, it's like, you, know, yeah. you shake it out and you feel like your hands a little numb you're like oh, yeah. I'll shake it out you know and you get out there and then you have that moment it's so gratifying, yeah. and you don't get that shit with tapes. Yeah. You I just do, don't get because, that feeling. You know what I mean? Because so you don't really get, you don't really like feel that like for me at least. You mm -hmm. know, like I really when, like. When's the last time you guys had that feeling? In like Dude, for an audition, for anything, for any acting job. What? Like, have you ever ha had like like because it's been COVID for yeah. how many years? And I've been on the show for like four years, so like I don't like I get on set and I'm like like I am right now like yeah. normal. Yeah. Oh, sure. I don't have that like feeling anymore. No, and I dog. miss it, dude. Yeah, no. The last time though, you want to know what's crazy? Yeah. The last time I had that feeling, yeah, bro, I got you. Yeah, it yeah. was the day I caught COVID, and it, it just deflated it all, bro. Because I remember I had to fucking film this scene in season one uh, where I I was like uh, trying to shoot at Tommy. I was doing a drive by, yeah, and I blow up the car. I take the mask off, and bro, I was so excited. Like, dog, I had my fucking dude there the Denzel to moment. do the vlog. Yeah, I had my guy there doing my vlog, following me there. I fucking <laughs> oh, dude, I don't he have had a the whole car. thing. I rented a fucking slingshot, bro, because I wanted to park in my parking spot because I usually have my driver take me to work, <laughs> so I never got to park on on the lot in my parking spot. Rented a fucking slingshot, <laughs> had my cameraman there doing my vlog, everything, bro. I'm ready. I, I called it my Denzel day. I'm gonna blow up a yeah. fucking yeah, yeah, car yeah. and the episode ends on my face revealing that I'm the one that shot at Tommy. To me, bro, I was like, no lines. This is the biggest scene of my career, bro. Yeah. In my head, I felt that excitement. I'm like, bro, I'm coming to, I'm coming then you to got work COVID? today. And then, bro, I, they fucking came and swabbed me and I'm sitting in there changing. And then fucking saying, no, like so 15 bad. minutes goes by. You bought a new fit too. You bought a new dog. fit. <laughs> 15 minutes goes by, I get a fucking phone call from health and safety. Yeah, brother, how you doing, man? How you feel? I said, motherfucker, I feel fine. How you feel? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck kind of question is that? I feel fine. I feel amazing. It's the best day of my life. It's the best. Yeah. What's going it's, on? This cameraman. <laughs> 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 I wonder if he has that footage. I wonder, yo, I'm gonna ask him if he has it, bro. I'm legit. I'm legit. I'm legit. Chris is like, Chris is like, keep filming. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I fucking should. I'm dead. I'm dead. Dog, I swear to God, he Cam calls me. Camera guy like, sweating oh. fucking bullets. He's like, I hate to be the bear so of bad funny. news, brother. 
Hey, oh, be bear, bad news, brother. But uh, yeah, man, I thought it was a false positive at first, so we ran it again. <clears throat> Had someone else come in there and the test you side. again, and uh, no, all three of them came back positive. I tried to do everything I could, Chris. You need to know that I tried. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to need you to stay put. Do not leave your trailer at all. Do not interact with anyone. Do not call or talk to anyone. If someone calls you, you do not talk to them, all right? Someone from Lionsgate will be reaching out to you. What I need you to do is sit there, hang tight for a sec, and in about 10 minutes, I'm going to need you to go home. I love his white boys. I'm like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Wait, so, so what wound up happening with the slingshot and everything? Dog, like I was so pissed because I rented this motherfucker for two days. <laughs> Do you know? The bro, I called my homie. Shout refund? out to Brian Keys. Oh, Brian. We yeah, love yeah, Brian. Yeah, shout out to Brian Keys. He plays uh, Agent Vargas on the show. I uh -huh. called him, even though I wasn't supposed to call nobody. I, was like, uh, yeah. I called him. I said, bro, <laughs> I just fucking caught COVID. He's like, bro, no, you're lying. I said, bro, man, I was finna film shit. I said, man, and I'm even more mad because I just rented this goddamn slingshot and now I can't even drive it. <laughs> I said, I said, bro, come get this damn slingshot. I said, you can wipe it down with some disinfectant, everything that I touched, <laughs> but you can have it for the two days it's paid for. Just return it at this address. Did you really give it to Yeah, Brian? I gave it to Brian for two days. And he loved it? He loved it. He, he showed time. up to set. He's fucking chilling. He parked the in winds in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I got it to Brian Keys, man. He's I loving it. He's like, hey, he's like, hey, man, you bought that new outfit, too. You're bro, not going to wear it. I literally drove from set. I left center space, bro. Drove to Whole Foods oh, before fuck. I went home. Like, double masked up with a hoodie on. Fucking grabbed all this shit, like, panic shopping. Like, you know, and then when we, we was getting those checks, Shane. We know about those checks, baby. <laughs> we was getting those checks, so I was buying all type of shit, just overdoing it. I was getting pounds of lemons, nigga. I was going in there getting three, four bags of lemons. You know, damn well, I don't need all these lemons. I'm buying it. Swiping. I got so, you know how many goddamn uh, those shots? The, the lemon oh, ginger oh, shots? Oh, oh, oh. Bro, yeah. I think those them are... shits be like $6 a piece, bro. I swear, I think I spent like 300 on nothing but those shots. Bags of lemons and honey and teas and all type of shit. I just went in there swiping. Like, get this shit out of me. I gotta be on, I gotta be at work. I have to go to work. I'm thinking I'm about to get fired. I'm like, so bro, what happened? It was fine. You just did it, waited a week, and then filmed no, the scene bro. After. It what was crazy is we had to do that at the end because that was like almost close to the final episode. Yeah, it was. It was no, it was it was, it was episode time. five, but but it was episode five when it happened. But because of the car and the explosion and all that shit that they had to regulate, they couldn't get it again until after we wrapped the season. Oh. So we had to do pickup days on after we wrapped ten. Oh. And it was we, just for that. And it was in the back of your head, like, they might cut this scene. This is scene. for me, yeah. They're going to cut this scene. They're going to yeah. cut this scene, but I was like, no, it can't. They can't because it's too important. It ends the episode. Yeah. And we have to know who just shot at Tommy. Yeah. So I kind of felt confident in that, but I thought I was like, well, Fuck, now I'm dead. If I wasn't dying in episode 10, I'm dead now. Yeah. That's what I thought. I was like, I'm definitely dead. If I was going to survive season yeah. one, I'm dead. Chris caught COVID. I'm, I'm dead. So funny. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and then there, there used to be a thing, like I think I told you this before, how like with you and Michael, how they probably all think that it's Michael who's kicking it all the time, but it, you said it was like actually you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's the exact opposite on my show. They look at me and they think, oh man, fuck, you know, Chris is probably going to be at these parties. He's outside, da da da. But it's actually Isaac. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you did tell me it's that. It's actually Isaac. Yeah, you did tell like, me that. I'm at home. The way yeah. he said that. It's Isaac. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. Trust yeah. Him. He's I'm not right. selling him. Like, you're fucking, you're fucking the guy over. No, I'm not. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. the same That's dynamic. That's the way me and Mike, dude, yeah. We're, everyone's always, everyone always thought, like, oh, he's a great, like, now everyone knows, like, Mike's outside. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, like, yeah. season one, they were like, Mike Gianni. And I'm like, what? I'm fucking, I'm, Michael's yeah. rich, dude. Michael yeah. drives an R8. I'm home. Dude. Michael's like, rich. Yeah, like, like, how am I going to stop Mike's this guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Michael's rich. Of course he's. Outside. Dude, season one, Michael would call me and he'd literally be like, it'd be like 2.30 in the morning. And like, we had friends, but only for like a year or so, two years yeah, at this yeah. point. Yeah. So he'd call me and be like, dude, I got like six girls. Like, what's up? I'm coming over. And I'd be like, I turn all the lights on my apartment. Dude, I'm up, dude. I'm ready. Let's do it, dude. Like, of course. Yeah. He jumps out of bed, his clothes are all on. <laughs> yeah. like, I've been waiting. That was like season one, but like now I'm like, Mike, come on, dude. He's like, all right. Give me a break. Yeah, yeah. Because five days a week with him. You know Mike. Dude, five no. days really? a week with him. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, Mike, when, when we're not filming. He said, look at him. Yeah. He's like. Yeah. Everyone behind the camera's like, yes, it is. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, nah, I feel that, man. But and, and people usually always think that of me, especially if you go on my Instagram or just the way I may come off. It's like, oh, this guy. I remember guy, that. This yeah, guy's fucking. Party. I remember that in season one because there were some people that were like, oh yeah, you know, I was gonna say the name. Yeah, yeah, you know, Chris is, you know, Chris is probably. Chris is. I'm like, Chris dog, is like yeah. cook it. I'll we're never like, forget. We're making food at the at the at the yeah. crib, like like dog, you know. I'm at home learning how to make cacho de pepe with my wife friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much trouble am I getting into? Drinking claws azul. Yeah, exactly. It was like, dog, I'll never forget. We can say it now, but no, I don't know if I should say it. We but can cut it afterwards. We'll cut, you won't, but you never cut it. No, they, see, right, that, so, see, no, 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 that's the trick. Is he always trick. goes, no, we'll cut no, this. No, we will. I'll say no, this. No, we'll cut it. No, but we'll no, cut there's, it. A, there's a, there's a I don't know. I'll, I'll ask him after, but right. uh, there oh, was a oh, time boy. I remember, bro, and oh, I was boy. so pissed off, bro. I was so pissed off. We got a, uh, I'm cool with Jason Tatum and play for the Celtics, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His dad. <laughs> You know what I'm saying. His dad gives us tickets to the fucking NBA Finals when the Celtics are playing the Warriors. Oh, God. Tickets in Boston, like a deciding game. In Boston, NBA Finals. I don't know why, but I hit up the... I'm like, hey, uh, you know, I'm not working. I'm a, I'm a, can I... Can I mail my COVID test into you guys? I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna Never shoot, ask. I'm gonna shoot to Boston and go to the. I'm gonna shoot to Boston and go to the fucking NBA Finals game. Right. I don't work for nine days. All right. They're like, yeah, you know, and I feel like when white people start using words like, <laughs> we feel adamant. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh shit. Yeah. I said, white people in adamant. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm just not gonna go. I love yeah. my job. They they said yeah. we 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 ad we feel very adamant that you stay here in Chicago. I said, oh shit. Yeah. I was like, I said, oh shit, adamant, nigga. I'm going nowhere. Yeah. So I didn't go. Really? I didn't go to the NBA finals. Dude, I would have went there with like one of those mustache thing glasses and just sat there. On uh, the no day. name counterpart. They did go. A no name counterpart. A no name counterpart did go. And uh, Not with me. and they had a great time, and they were sending Isaac? me pictures. Was it Isaac? It was a no name counterpart. Did go to the game, <laughs> <laughs> and and just sent me pictures at the NBA Finals, Celtics Warriors, while I'm just in Chicago. But it's a juicy episode. Wow, we're were getting to, some tea. To yeah, me. if you were to ask anybody of like the background, like the the crew and anybody, they would have guessed a million dollars. Oh, Chris went. Yeah. No, I, was, I remember. I remember that day too. We were, we were on. Yeah, yeah. I remember that day. You, were you never ask. Yeah, and I learned from you, that day forward. Bro, I've never asked. Me and again. Michael would literally be. We're like, we're like partying up, dude. This actually. You guys is, were like moving, and you weren't saying it. You weren't saying anything. anything. But dude, this happens. All right, I'll tell this story because <laughs> again, so bad. we're fine now. Dude, we were the first show back. Right, right. Like, right. Maybe we're a month into this. Yeah. And it was Michael's birthday. So Michael's birthday is obviously always like a thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's always a thing. He, <laughs> it's always a thing. He, dude, he rented a yacht and and we oh, shit, nice. we went out on this yacht and it was like we literally had maybe four days left of season one. Mm -hmm. Like we had just gotten back. Dude, we didn't have extras on set at this point. Like we were doing the scenes with no background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we we get we go on this yacht and it's like supposed to be like 20 of his closest friends. That never happens with Michael. There was 150 people there, all in the basement of this yacht. Like we're all like packed in like sardines. It's like peak COVID. I'm like, oh fuck. But then I get a little drink. I get a little drunk. Peak COVID. Yeah, I get a little drunk and I'm like, whatever. And so all of a sudden, there's just a video of me and Michael like spraying champagne all on the these, internet all over these girls. Oh, yeah. Like we spray, the, the, we're spraying the champagne the all over these all over these girls. And yeah. um, all of a sudden, because me and Michael had the same agent at the time, and we woke up the next morning, someone posted a video of us. I don't know where it went. Oh, but spraying naked girls with champagne. Yeah. Oh, it, wow. with like a thousand people on yeah. this boat. Yeah. And um, our agent called us and was like, guys, guys, yeah. come on. So that was like where we learned like, okay, we are just have to not ask. Like, we'll just have to move. The, and then they kind of let and us just move. just hope they move. don't post. Yeah, they just let y'all do. Oh, man. Did anybody bump? But we bump? had host things. We had everything. And they just, they pretend. Neither one of y'all bumped though, right? No. Nah. Dude, I didn't. Really? I, dude. I was outside, outside, and me and Michael did not get Dog, COVID. that's what pissed me off even more because the day I caught COVID, bro, I hadn't been doing shit. Now, there were moments when I was like, I'm definitely getting COVID because there were some times in Chicago where I'm like, bro, we're not supposed to be outside, and I was in situations like that. I'm tight, confined environments. Dog, yeah. I'm like, I'm... If I fail this COVID test in, on Wednesday, because it's a, like a Sunday, Monday I'll pass. I'll pass the Monday one. Yeah. It's that Wednesday one when I'm worried about, that Wednesday, Friday yeah. one, I'm worried about that one. How fucked was that mentality? We was like that for six months. Yeah, yeah bro. I ours, was like, was, ours was two years. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 bro. We were like, hey, dude. It dude, was, like always thinking that you're going to shut down because you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. like, bro, they're going to shut this shit down. I'm like, no, no, no. Right, it, right. It, that, that, that shit. 
Yeah, yeah it's so weird. You're like, well, the Monday and then Wednesday, and then well, I've read that on the you know, it's like, yeah. well, I'm not gonna. But you're, yeah. you're like, what the fuck am oh, I doing tough. right now? That's, like, oh, that's like, literally what I was saying. I was like, like, I don't care. like it's like a, you're mentally like so like fucked at that Bro, point. Bro, I was like, mentally. And you're so trying to focus fucked. on the work. You're trying to enjoy time with you. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like a, I was tell I was trying to plan. Scheduling yeah, yeah, yeah. catching COVID. Yeah. I was like, well, it's fine. If it's Stop. fine. What I'll do is I'll catch COVID on Friday and then I'll be good because I don't work for 13 days. Yeah, I'm yeah. not really in this episode. So even if I do catch it, I'll test myself. I'll be over it. By the time they test me again, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. I'm yeah. cool. It doesn't matter. I'm going outside. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going. It doesn't matter. Like, Dude, we, we had a cast group chat and I love how they're like, don't call anyone or say anything to anyone. Yeah. Immediately, Immediately someone caught COVID. People are like, who the fuck got it? Exactly. Like everyone's yeah. in the group chat. It Who's was, fucking this up It was mainly us? me. I was like, what the fuck? And then I remember Toya was the first one to get it and I was like, whoever fucked up us because we couldn't go somewhere now. I was yeah. like, whoever fucked us and did this, I swear to God, I, I didn't know who it was. I thought it was like a crew member, and it was Toya who was in the group chat. I was like, damn. Oh my God. She still she still brings that up to me today. She's like, I remember you were mad at me. I was like, oh, I was like I don't care. Yeah, no, nah, dog. I was so scared when I caught COVID. Wild times. But I'm so glad that shit's over. We don't test anymore. But yeah, they took it away. Yeah. But I hear it's like coming back, though. I heard like three people got COVID like two weeks ago. <laughs> That shit's bad. You dude. know three. You know three people. I that know three COVID. people yeah, yeah, yeah. that caught COVID like a, like a week or two ago. They're How were they? COVID were they down? For the, were they down or were they it's like? Back to Drake's here. That's know. why, dude. I don't know. I Drake's COVID. responsible for the COVID. Third. Me, I'll be there yeah. in full uniform. Assemble, <laughs> niggas. Assemble. I told you, Drake is Beyonce for us. Let us go. <laughs> Are you crazy? You think I'm not there? I've been waiting on this all week. Me too. Oh my god. Me too. I'm so excited. Um. All right, Shane. Thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> we can't. We can't uh, obviously promote force. You know, we can't yeah, take yeah, any yeah. dates or anything like that. Yeah. Um. But we want to have you back on. Um. If we can do recaps, if the strike ends, obviously because the strike we can't. Although when this episode come out comes out, the strike may be over. So mm-hmm. who knows? Fingers maybe- crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed we can put stuff in the episode, but plug whatever you have, your Instagram, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah my IG is at the Shane Harper. I'm not really on Twitter anymore. I mean, I have one, but I don't really tweet. Are you on threads? What was that? Are you on threads? No. That's no. Instagram's Twitter now. Should I be? Is it good? Does it work? I, get, it, like, I, I got 100K followers. I'd get on there. Oh, you got 100K followers? Mm-hmm. Oh, I just oh, hit okay. it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, just, like, it's just Instagram, <laughs> although I never really post. I'll yeah. post some, some cheeky stories, but I don't really... I'm like not really like online yeah, that yeah, much. Yeah, you are kind of a, a little... But I put you on the close friends. You've seen some of, why, of my wild close Dude, friends. Dude, so. okay, really quick. Cool. I know we're trying to end the episode. <laughs> no, no, no. I know we're trying to end the episode, okay? <laughs> no, but let me do your close friends. No, your close friends, it's like it's like a TV show. like It's my version... No, 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 for real, for real. Like, w- when it comes up, I'm like, oh, fucking, you know, I Let's grab see. some popcorn. I throw, yeah, I get comfy on the couch. I'm like, Gianni's about to go up. Sometimes I meet someone. It's so funny, Sometimes I dude. meet someone new, and I'm like, oh, I fuck with them. I can trust you them. out of But then I'll your... see them view it, and I'll go, ooh, I didn't want them to see no, that. Yeah, that's that. a little much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. I got to ease them into this. Yeah, yeah, you no, are exactly. out of <laughs> Yeah, I got to ease them into this. No, you got to, but don't reel it in. Don't reel it in. Just keep doing it. I love it. I love it. I went off yesterday. You saw the one I did yesterday. I did. I did. It's so good. No, I'm really happy to be here. Thank, Thank you, you for bro. having me on. Of this course. is what you guys have built is fucking incredible. Thank man. you, bro. And I'd love to come man, back and actually talk about talk about the show and, and, for and sure. shit because like this. Oh, right. I'm not gonna say it, but it sucks. It, it's, no, it sucks. I w- yeah. yeah, I wish. I wish because everyone works so hard on it, but we'll. Yeah. We'll get it back. For and sure. again, thank you so much for the hospitality. Of course, it. dude. Thank you, everybody. I'm glad we finally got to like, you know, oh, chop it up. It was a good time, man. Shane's amazing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got it. We got it. We got it. Shane fucking Harper, bro. You and Shane remind me of m- me and Mike so much. Bro, this is my fucking yeah. dog, bro. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. Hey, man. Chris, plug what you got. Chris D. Lofton, man. Uh, at Chris D. Lofton, the shit that I got, we can't really talk about. Man. Yeah, I yeah. can't talk about nothing. I ain't really yeah. got nothing else going on. Like, the same stuff I said the last time, like, you know. Writing and uh, directing, trying to do that. Yeah, I want to do that. So we're gonna produce some stuff. Yeah, you're a little force show or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> he's, said, he's saying little a lot. Yeah, he's, he's saying little a lot. He's Until saying those big little numbers a come hell out. of a lot. Until all right, those big big numbers come. We'll out. see who breaks the more records. We'll see. We'll see. Um, okay, Gianni VPLO, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Threads, Gianni Vlogs. Yep, Gianni Vlogs. Also, my guy Michael isn't here today. Uh, we had to. We're going to Europe, so we got a bank some episodes right now but um michael rainey jr where's 22 where's 22 vlogs um we got merch coming out so yeah thank you so much uh chris thank you um for coming on and guest hosting shane you. thank you for coming on and uh and you know telling us about your story and you know what we have to do at the end of the episode right can you do it for us the crew has yes yeah, baby. yes he remembers of course. yes i watch every episode yes the I crew watch, has I it and you had it. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much, Shane. Yeah, that was a lot of fun.